What's happening in Florida right now is going to have long-lasting and potentially devastating impacts on our marine ecosystems. What we're seeing is a dramatic event that's happening locally, and it's tying into everything that's happening around the world with our marine ecosystems. Currently, Florida is undergoing the largest coral disease outbreak ever recorded in the world. And unfortunately, pillar coral is one of the species that is most heavily affected by this disease. Pillar coral are probably as old as the Florida Reef Tract. Uh, if you go back into the fossil record, there's some evidence that they've been around for a long time. These individuals out here, some of them are hundreds of years old, if not older. Four years ago, we did some extensive diving up and down the entire range of the Florida Reef Track and pretty confident that we found probably 90 to 95 percent of all the pillar coral that were around and where they are. We estimate there were about 700 colonies, maybe a little bit more. We are now down to fewer than 100 live colonies on Florida's reef in four years. That's how bad it is and we're expecting they may be extinct here locally in Florida within the next five years. There's a huge disconnect in what's going on under the water because for the most part, you don't see what's going on under the water. Um, with the people that even live here, the locals, a lot of them don't realize how degraded our reefs are and how important they are to our island chain, our livelihoods. So working with lots of partners, there have been a lot of projects that have gone on to try to save this species. Uh, one of them is what we call the living arc. And what we do with that, we bring in fragments of these corals from the field and keep them in conditions where they won't be subjected to warm seawater temperatures. They won't be subjected to disease-filled water. And in that way, we hope to preserve those individual genotypes and we can grow them and make, make more tissue. Um, there's projects happening to try to breed them so that we can make genetically diverse new individuals. And all of this is with the goal of having the material in the individuals to be able to put back out on the reef when conditions allow for that and potentially restore this species. We need to start looking at the link between the land and the sea. We cannot have a constant input of fertilizers and organic materials and waste products that just get dumped into the ocean. The solution to pollution is not dilution. Um, it, it, there's too much pollution. And we need to take actions to treat our wastewater, retain the wastewater, reuse our wastewater. We cannot simply just dump it into, into the ocean and forget about it anymore. It, it's not working. They're real, they're, they're, living, they're a living creature. And I think it's our responsibility to do the best we can to care for every living creature in whatever manner we can.